To get the best Madden team, go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy players, coins, and training directly to your account, and code MMG is 10% off. I have leaked information on the Madden 23 cover athlete. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. So obviously EA doesn't like me, but there's one dude who works at EA who does like me. And he hit me up, he said, We're about to film this, you know, 23 cover athlete thing. I was like, no shot, send me a picture. And he sends me this picture and I see the people in the room, and I was like, bro, I didn't mean like send me a picture who's on it. You're not supposed to show me that information. He's like, shit, I'm so sorry, but you know, just don't tell anybody. And I was like, yeah, what if I did? He's like, well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to leak it right now. The people that were in that picture that he sent, Jackson Mahomes, oh, no. Calvin Ridley, oh. Urban Meyer, John Gruden, superstars, bro. Now, I don't know which one of them's gonna get it, but I just thought I'd let you guys know they might do like a quad cover. You know how they did two dudes on the cover this year? Imagine like Calvin Ridley in the top right, losing all his money on FanDuel. Urban Meyer in the top left, just grinding away. John Gruden in the bottom right, being condescending towards a minority. And in the bottom left, got Jackson Mahomes just hitting the hardest TikTok of all time. I would pay for that, man. The real cover, Men 23 should be Papa Me slaying Wheel of Mutt. That's really what it should be. And that's why you're here today, Wheel of Mutt. Madden 22, the final season, episode number two. Our first game of the season, despite being an L, was an amazing game. And we got to keep Trey Lance because I had one hell of a quarterback show. We had 36 fantasy points. We needed 30 to hang on to him for our challenge win. You know, at the start of the year, it's not that bad. I never really noticed the Browns do but I noticed it bad last episode. It was horrendous. I'm gonna prioritize O-line right now, which I never do in an early episode. And on top of that, I know you guys talk about it in the comments. Don't worry. I was gonna do it at the start of this episode. Luke Keekley had one sack. So I think I did a good job discerning like what he should and should not get. No interceptions. I forgot to mention this. Forced fumbles also count for an upgrade. Sacks, fumbles, interceptions, touchdowns. One upgrade for the sack. Takes him up to an 84 overall. It looks like he's an 86. He's not. That's what he would be if I get the next round. So the team's an 80 overall, not bad at all. Let's get some offensive line. The final season, baby. What kind of O-lineman can we get? We already got Brian McKinney. He's all right. But James Hudson really was the one getting bullied. 90 95. Team wheel. Guarantee I'm getting a great O-lineman out of this. So any 90 95 player, but they must come from the Texans. Steelers. Oh, Steelers have definitely have an old lineman for me. Yes, 100%. So there's no 95, unfortunately. I'll have to go a little bit lower than that. There's a 94 Marquise Pouncey center. You know, I'm actually going to go Marquise Pouncey. I think center might be a little bit more important than left guard. Also, I believe I've had Marquise Pouncey a few times. So welcome back to the squad, my friend. So I can get the boss legend. I think he quick sells for 250K. It's actually really nice, dude. When these players quick sell for 250K and they only cost 300K, if you got the coins, it's like a rental. They're never, their value is never going to deteriorate. Marquise Pouncey, 94 overall, working on that O-line. All right, so Marquise Pouncey is coming in. I got to remember to add that ability to him. But what's our second wheel spin going to give us? I would really like a playoffs jackpot. Oh, shit. There's a 97 overall Melvin Ingram, who's really good. That's definitely catching my eye. Who's that right end for the 49ers? His name is Jordan. Um, He's a DN. Jordan Willis? Willis dick fit in your mouth, bud? Boy! Got your ass. I know I got your ass. Shut up. I got you. I might have to go Melvin Ingram. There's not any good offensive line options. I can't really go offensive line. Not really what I was going for on the upgrade, but if you get a jackpot, you gotta utilize it. Look at this Melvin Ingram. 382,000 coins for 97 over Melvin Ingram with 89 speed, 95 excel, 91 block shed. That is an end game right end. And I'm definitely gonna give him some abilities. Normally I wouldn't, but my defense has got a lot of openings for abilities right now, I think. And what abilities can you get Mr. Ingram. Speed rusher, he's got to get edge threat. I probably don't need edge threat elite, but just edge threat should be enough to cause some problems. Also, Isaiah Simmons, no longer my user. I'm going to be using Luke Keekley. So lurker not required, which is nice because that frees up three AP on this defense. Enforcer for one AP on Melvin Ingram. Not sure how much I'll use it, but I'm going to try it out. If he comes off the edge hot, wants to crack somebody, then I'm all for it. Team's looking good, though. Defense is, is defense is really looking good. Time to hop into a game. The challenge wheel is spinning. It was crucial last episode. It's I got to assume it's going to be crucial again this episode. Our challenge is... 75 yards with Peak Zone Bubble. I think I had four yards of Peak Zone Bubble last episode. So if I can break a long one, I'll feel really good. Randy Moss, Desmond Trufant, Ted Hendricks. The Randy Moss scares me because it just came out. It's very expensive, very good. The rest don't scare me that much. I guess we'll see. He's got a Trey Lance of his own. Oh, can we just start out with a Luke Keekley sack? What is going on? 
Those little checked out cow pits tried to hurdle me. Come on. Play action. Throw here. Do it. Do it. Oh, cover oh. three beater. Yikes. Those are gonna kill me right now too because my my secondary is not caught up in speed. I was too worried about getting a Luke Keekly interception. I didn't even think about it. This happens every year in Madden to me. I always get tore up by those. Oh, this is gonna be a hard game. He's pressed up. I don't think Noah Gray is really gonna break the press. I'm not gonna lie. I see you, Trey Lance, though. What are the odds that Cooper Cup can beat a press? Doesn't look like he beat it, and Ted Hendricks is covering this pretty well. I'm hoping Cooper Cup can torch him one of these times. That works. Ow! Trey Lance is so awesome. Do you think Cooper Cup will ever burn this man? I don't think he can, but Trey Lance keeps delivering excellent passes, and it's just gonna be the Darren Waller show if this guy's gonna play it like this. Oh shit, I did not see that guy. When he cuts, if he cuts, Jesus Christ, it took him an hour to cut. And here I am on fourth and 17 against mid blitz, band press, <laughs> fucking cheesers, bro. No way Perfect. I'm gonna get it with Jake Funk. <laughs> fourth and 17, just converted with Jake Funk. I can't even tell if he's playing. He really doesn't need to. Because his team is so good, he can actually just run man pressure mid blitz and just win the game. Darren fucking Waller playing his heart out right now. All right, so long as I don't get cover three beater it again, I will be happy. Is this the same play? Oh, he's got a skate artist on Trey Lance because he moved so fast right there. Go ahead. Oh, bro, Drake Thomas, third and 22, that's massive. He's gonna go play action boot over, right? Yep, that's exactly what he's running. Shit, I'm on the wrong dude. Oh no, I can't stop it now. I can't stop it now because I'm on the wrong fucking dude. Wait, literally he quick snapped it when I'm not on the dude and there's nothing I can do about it then. That's sick, that's sick, that's so cool. Throw to your, throw to your halfback. Oh. Nice throw. His offense is a cover three beater. He got lucky that I was I was clicked on the wrong guy when he threw it. That's it. My worst nightmare, dude. This is my worst nightmare. I, not only am I playing a cheeser, but I fumble on the kick return. No, you didn't. Beautiful karma. And somehow I'm gonna start on the 20? What? I had that on the three. First and 10. I don't know how this is gonna set up, but I'm praying it's good. Okay, you're open. He's just gonna run mid blitz the whole fucking game, huh? Is that, is that how we're gonna do this? I don't know what this is, but I don't think it's man. Bingo. It's not. Oh, he's there! He's there! You think Darren Waller gets open here? Holy shit, he torched him. Oh, it's gonna be there. It's, <laughs> it's the pass. Oh my God, Trey Lance. And I get nothing out of it. It's my fault for taking the risk, but it was totally there. Mike. <laughs> I kinda just said fuck it. I was just about to say a run play would work here. Says so not been my game, I'll say that. Block? Wait a second, block. If you weren't so fucking slow, I could have easily done it right there. It's all just tough right now. Wait a second, I got another chance, baby! God damn it, you're so slow, Zeke! This is quite effective against mid- I'm gonna keep this in mind. This is very effective against mid blitz. He's trying to get over there with Divine Diablo. Oh my god, dude, what is- why is he not trying to stop it? Zeke! Zeke! I almost have 75! I can always hand it off. I love that he's not going for it at all. Let's go! I think this guy just didn't give a fuck. But I started at 23, only big zone bubble that was 77 yards. I don't feel particularly proud of that, but it worked, so whatever. Yes, he's gonna do it. Oh, I don't actually know what that was, but great hit. I don't know if he can do it for me. Can he do it from here? 
Well, he's not trying to, but that's a fourth down. Holy shit, it's fourth and nine. Let's clamp! I'm on this. I'm on everything. We're on that. We're on that. No way. How can you not fucking guard that? You're right there. Why is this working? Why is this dog shit working? This is actually a nightmare, dude. Oh, and I'm there with Keekly, but I got blocked. That's kind of open. That's textbook. That's textbook for today. Perfect pass, just nothing. I've got safeties sandwiching this guy and Lance Allworth fucking steps up there and just drills it over my head to make it 15 to 29 on fourth and nine. Oh, that's fucking sick. Darren Waller is wide open, untouched. And the ball goes... What even happened to me this game? This is fucking ridiculous. Dude, go run that last play back, bro. Darren Waller, butt naked, wide open. I just held it. Ball goes 10 yards away, and Darren Waller doesn't even react to it. Just said, fuck it, I'm not going for that. First and 10, I'm tempted to throw this Cooper Cup ball again, because he's kind of beat. Oh, no, so it's not there on this one for sure. Ooh. Derek Carr, uh, pick six. You know, I might just give him the ball at this point and try and get Luke Keekly. Tough game. I could not catch a break that game. Would I have won if I caught a break? Maybe not, but couldn't catch a break. Fourth and nine. This is my chance to win the game. How classic is that? I'm trying to replay this play and this is what you can see. 11 chargers just lined up in front of the field goal post. Well, another challenge real complete. Thanks to him basically just dicking around when I use Pigs on Bubble. We're gonna start our finale season 0-2. Keep Melvin Ingram though. I do not keep Marquise Pouncey. We'll survive. Gotta make some big moves next episode. Gotta get a win on the board for sure. But that's it for today's episode, boys. Thank you so much. I love you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.